Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela and I am currently on a month-long trip here in Europe. If you watched my last vlog, you know that I was in Reykjavik in Iceland for a few days and now I just took a three-hour flight with my mom here to Brussels here in Belgium, which I'm super excited to explore for the next few days. I'm going to be here for about five days and my mom's going to be leaving on the fourth day, so I'm going to start my solo traveling then. But I am currently catching the train from the airport into Central, so I will see you at our hotel. have arrived in Brussels in the city center area. We just dropped off our luggage and changed at our hotel, which is the Bedford Hotel and Congress Center, which is actually a lot bigger and nicer than I expected. We just dropped ourselves off there, changed. And now we are heading into the city to check out the attraction. We checked in and got our room. We're staying at the Bedford Hotel and Congress Center, which is really close to the city center of Brussels, which is really nice. This is our room back here. We have our bathroom there. We had a really fun day today. We went to eat a bunch of the most famous foods in Brussels. We had a waffle from the Waffle Factory, and then we had fries from Freightland, and then chocolate from Mary's Chocolatier. We're gonna try a bunch of the other waffle places and fry places and chocolate places while we're here, but those are like the ones that we checked out today. And then for dinner, we went to arguably the most famous restaurant in Brussels, which is Chez Lyon, which specializes in mussels which were so freaking good. They're like the best muscle I've ever had in my life. And then we also got like a little shrimp salad thing with it as well as some fried oysters as well. And that was so much food. We are absolutely stuffed. It also came with a beer. So we got to try our first Belgian beer, which I have heard amazing things about and it's supposedly the best beer in the world. So we are excited to try many more waffle fries, chocolates, and beers here in Belgium. But yeah, we just got back to our hotel. We're probably just going to rest for a bit because we have been up since way too early in the morning today so we're just going to chill for a little bit and then we'll see what we get up to later. Good morning and welcome to day three. Oh, sorry, day two with us in Brussels. We are currently walking over to the Grand Place. We picked up some waffles along the way from Maison Dandoy, which is like a super famous waffle shop here. And it was really good, but way more expensive than the ones from Waffle Factory. We are currently walking to the Grand Place right now because we booked a free walking tour with Sandemans that I did in Paris as well. And we're gonna go meet up with them to check out the city and learn more about the history, all this architecture and everything. So that is the plan right now and I will catch you a little bit later. We just finished our tour, which was a lot of fun. We did a free walking tour with Sandman across all of Brussels and we got to see a lot of different buildings and a bunch of different attractions. And our guide, Matt, was really, really good. And he just explained a bunch about the city and the history behind a lot of the buildings, which was really cool. But yeah, we just finished that. We're here at the Central Park here in Brussels right now. We're just gonna walk out around to the areas that we haven't been to yet and check those out, hopefully. We walked past the Royal Palace here and you can go in, but we didn't book tickets, so. When I checked online for them, they were already sold out for today, so I booked one for two days from now. We're taking a quick break and then we're gonna continue exploring and sightseeing and I will take you along with us.
at the hotel after a very fun day of exploring Brussels a little bit more. We went to a couple places that we haven't been to so far near like the European Parliament. We went around that area. We went to the, the Arc de Triomphe, which is really nice. And then we came back to explore the church that we saw during our tour, which was really, really beautiful inside. And then we just walked over to Vain du Siècle. And it's like a really, really good Belgian restaurant. It has amazing reviews for good reason. We tried their Lapin à la Crique, which is a rabbit dish, which is my first time trying rabbit. And it was surprisingly really, really delicious. It kind of tastes like chicken, but really, really tender. And then we also got their giant ham. It's called Jambon no sauce moutarde. So like this giant piece of ham with baked potato and salad and this really, really good mustard dressing that goes with it. And it was so much food. Like the portion was gigantic, but it was actually not too expensive for like how big the portions were. Everything was under 20 euros for each of the dishes. So it was really, really good. And then we went to the Delirium Cafe. It's this gigantic bar that kind of like takes up this entire like street basically. And it has a bunch of different sections in it. And it's like famous for having the meter beer, which is basically like a flight of 10 beers in a row. And you get to try a bunch of different beers. So we both shared one of those and that was really, really good. We literally stayed there and enjoyed the vibes for a couple of hours before we left. And then we went to Amarino on the way back to the hotel to pick up some gelato because they specialize in gelato that's like shaped like a flower. So it's really, really pretty. And you can choose as many flavors as you want. We got mango, strawberry, lemon, and chocolate. And they were all freaking amazing. We like devoured that in like two seconds. But yeah, we are back at our hotel now. We have to go to bed a little bit early today because tomorrow I booked a tour for us to go to Bruges and Ghent, which are some neighboring cities in Belgium. So that starts at 8.30 and we need to head over to Central Station to meet up with our bus for that. So we're gonna head to bed a little bit early and I will catch you in the morning.
are back in our room now after a very very long day we are just getting ready for bed right now but basically this morning we met up with our tour to go to Bruges and Ghent which are beautiful cities they are so cute and we did a walking tour in each of the places to learn a little bit about it and then we got a little bit of free time to wander around and I definitely recommend checking out Bruges and Ghent if you have the time if you're in Brussels but that was definitely a really fun tour they dropped us back off in Brussels we went to grab some dinner at Brew Dog, which is like a brewery here and we just got like bar food like burgers and salad which was pretty good after that we walked over to the Palais de Justice which is a really beautiful building but it's under construction right now because they're renovating it so it's kind of covered in scaffolding but it was still really nice to go up there because it actually has a really beautiful view of the city so we watched the sunset from there and then we walked back to our hotel and went up to the rooftop bar which we went to two nights ago which was a lot of fun and we got another drink there we finally tried the Trappist beer which is like the beer that's brewed by monks here and we just had a really nice chat upstairs and it's just been a really fun time just getting to explore the city with my mom I'm really sad that that part of my travels is coming to an end actually tomorrow I'm going to be dropping off my mom at the train station because she is gonna head over to the airport to head back to Canada but I am staying and solo traveling for a little bit which I am a little bit nervous for but super excited for I'm moving over to a hostel I'm staying at the Sleepwell Youth Hostel which is on the other side of town so I'm gonna have to drag my luggage over there tomorrow and check in and everything so that is tomorrow's issue but for now I'm just gonna head to bed and then in the morning we're gonna wake up maybe grab a waffle and then I'll drop my mom off at the train station officially traveling solo. I just dropped off my mom at the train station. So the solo part of my travels begins now. I have today and kind of like half of tomorrow here in Brussels because I'm catching my flight tomorrow at I think three. So I have a little bit of time to just do some exploring by myself. I'm back in my hotel now and I am going to finish packing up, check out, and then I'll take my stuff and move to my hostel, which is kind of on the other side of the city center. Today I have the booking that I made for the Royal Palace at 2 p.m. So I have that planned and then I also want to see the Atomium, which is a little bit further away. It's like a monument here that's really famous, but it's like not close to city center. So I have to take a bus or a metro to get there.
day five of my time here in Brussels, which is also my last day. Unfortunately, yesterday I checked into my hostel. It was very nice and clean, but there was no AC in our room, so it was super, super hot. But I met a new friend who is actually from Lithuania, and she's super sweet. We ended up hanging out all evening yesterday. We went to get dinner together at the Wolf food market. We tried Syrian food there which was really good and then we also went to a delirium bar again because she wanted to try the meter of beer that I had with my mom last time so we ended up getting one of those to share and then we went to Casco which is another bar in the city for some drinks which was really fun and it was just really fun to hang out with her all day and just chat and everything and learn more about her and connect over things that we have similarities in. It's so interesting when you meet people from all around the world and you think that you have nothing in common with them but then you find out that you have so many things in common with them so it's really really fun to have those memories and then this morning we had breakfast together at the hostel because it was included and then did a little walk around the city just to enjoy Brussels for the last time because we're both leaving today so I got one more waffle from my favorite place which is the waffle factory I tried quite a few waffles this time around but I think my favorite waffle is just like a plain Liège waffle from the waffle factory I also had a bunch of fries this trip as you saw and I think out of all the fr Belgian fries that I've had my favorite spot has to probably go to Maison Antoine, which is really good. And another really good food place that I absolutely loved was Chez Lyon for their moules frites or their mussels and fries, which were amazing. It was just so much fun exploring Brussels and visiting Belgium for the first time. I had an absolute blast. It's such a beautiful country. I highly, highly recommend checking it out. The people are super nice here and like super friendly, which is awesome. And I got to practice my French a little bit, which was fun as well. But aside from the absolutely insane heat this week, I had so much fun in this country. I think it's beautiful and incredible and, and if you have a chance to check it out, I definitely would recommend it. But yeah, I'm now at the airport. I am waiting for my next flight, which is going to be in about an hour and I am actually going to be heading over to Budapest, which is in Hungary and I'm super excited to check Budapest out too for the first time. I've never been there before, so that will probably be in the next vlog, so make sure to stay tuned for that. But thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more videos of my travels this summer. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!